All right, we're going to do lesson two, learn two in Jasper Active. Microsoft Word 2016 core. Go ahead and click into that. And then up here, go to lesson two. And then you have learn two is selecting text. If this is your first time, click on the learn button. Otherwise, click on the practice button. When it gets loaded, click continue and then wait for the program to load. So we only have three steps in here, but they are fairly specific ones. So we want to make sure we're following along with what the program is asking us to do. So the first thing it says to do is press Control and O and navigate to the document slash Jasper Active slash resource files folder. Open the corporate profile document and then try selecting a few wor words to become familiar with the feature, the feature of selecting different words by clicking and dragging. So let's go back to the top of that. It says press Control O. I need to click into my document first before my shortcuts will work and I'm going to hold the Control key down and press O. That will give me my open menu. I'm going to go down to Browse. That should open my File Manager. And I'm already on Documents, so I'm going to click into my D Jasper Active folder. You will click into your Name folder. And then we're looking for the Resource Files folder. So I'll double click that. There's the Corporate Profile document. I can double click that to open it. And so mess around, try selecting some words. Double click in here and see what happens. So what it wants you to do is double click the word Tolano in the first paragraph. So not up here in the image up here, but this first paragraph right there. So I double click it and it selects the whole word. And then it asks me to press and hold the shift key and click at the end of the Tolano Adventures provides eco-friendly travel services to a growing market sentence. So I already have Tolano selected. I'm gonna hold the shift key down and I'm going to click at the very end. I want to make sure I get that period in there. And then it says release the shift key. So you notice this is already selected. It, I've got that one done. I'm going to click mark as answered and next. The next step says select non-consecutive text. It would like you to press the control key and then drag the cursor to select the we work with a number of international vendors and are always looking for new and exciting adventures sentence. Okay, so I'm going to click into my document. This is still highlighted and I would like to keep it highlighted as well. So I'm going to hit the control key and find that sentence. It's right here in the third paragraph. And I'm going to select all the way down to the end of adventures. And I'm going to let go of the mouse and I'm going to let go of the control key. Jasper Active says to keep holding it. However, we found that students are more successful if they let go of the control key and then hit it again. So you want to make sure that you still have these sections of text selected. You're going to hold the control key down again and drag to select the words. We will also review a tour, which is down below these bullet points. So it says occasionally, I'm going to click and drag, we will also review a tour. I'm going to let go of the mouse key and the control key. And then it says click anywhere in the document to deselect the text. So once I click out when I'm not holding those keys, it will deselect all of the text I had. I'm going to click mark as answered and then click next. Step three, select non-consecutive paragraphs. So the first thing we're going to do is select the paragraph that starts with we review all our tours annually and ends with of bookings and environmental impacts. So we got to look through here. Here it is. We review all our tours annually. And then at the end of this bullet point it says um, bookings and environmental impact. That's where we're looking for. It says you have selected an individual paragraph as well as a bulleted list. So I'm going to select it by clicking and dragging all the way down. Now try selecting the picture to show how these items can be selected in the same manner as text. I can do the same thing. I can click on there. I can double click on it 
I can click and drag over it to select that image. Manipulating images requires a different process than manipulating text, but you still need to select the items to be changed prior to making any changes. So I want you to know that you can do that to images as well as text. Click anywhere in the document to deselect the previously selected items. I'm just clicking in this blank space. Now nothing is selected. Press and hold the control key and then press the home key to move the cursor to the top of the document. All right, so if I hit the, I wanna make sure I'm active in my document. I'm gonna hit the control key and then I'm gonna hit the home key and it takes me all the way up to the top. There's my cursor right there, or my insertion point. So your home key is gonna be by your delete key, so over towards the right-hand side of your keyboard. Okay. Click the image to select it. I've just done that. Notice the image is selected as there are now eight selection points displayed around the perimeter of the image. That's these guys right here. These points are called handles and they enable you to control options for the selected image. Click anywhere away from the image to deselect it. So I'm just gonna click in the blank space and then close the document without saving. I'm gonna click mark as answered and then show results and yes. And there we go, I got three green check marks. Something's up with my computer, but I managed to get that little X. I can hit X. And there we go, back to Jasper Active.